Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up mid remote to control your sims for real-time control and for performance. Let's get started. With Cubase 12 and the new MIDI remote, now we're able to control pretty much any plugin in Cubase, set up our favorite assignments, our favorite controls to controllers that transmit CC messages and have them be recalled every single time we load this specific plugin. So of course, this is extremely useful when it comes to synthesizers. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can start setting up your synths inside Cubase so that you have the most useful parameters at your fingertips. So the first thing that you need to do is decide which controller you want to use for controlling your synths. And what I'm going to show you is how I've set up a controller that doesn't come with a pre-made script in Cubase 12. So if I open my MIDI remote here, you can see I have my monogram CC here. This is a controller that transmits CC messages. And as you can see here, what I've done is I've assigned these knobs to transmit CC messages that control the quick controls in Cubase. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use the quick controls to control the most important parameters of our synths. So once you've done this, all you need to do is load up your synth. In my case, I'm using Retrolog, but I'm going to show you how you can use it for third-party plugins as well. And what you need to do is click on this QC button right here. Now, once we click on this, we will reveal the quick controls. Most of the times, these will be pre-assigned to something, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start assigning them from scratch. So what I've done is I've hit reset here so we can do this together. So these knobs correspond to these eight controllers that I've assigned to my quick controls. So let's say I want to get Retrolog ready for real-time control, for production, for performance, for all these things. So let me show you how quickly we can come up with a great template. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click learn and the first parameter that I want to assign is of course the filter. So I'm going to just move the filter a little bit and this parameter is now assigned to my quick control one. I'm going to move on to the next one and I'm going to assign this to resonance. The third one I'm going to assign to my envelope amount. The fourth one to my attack. Then my decay, sustain, and release. And the last one I'm going to assign to one parameter that I know I'm always using when I'm using Retrolog, and this is the distortion. So now that I've assigned all this, I can just disengage learn. This is very important. And now I can control all of these with my quick controls right here. So if I start playing, I have control over the filter, the resonance, envelope amount, and now I can tweak the attack, decay, sustain, and release. And if I want to tweak my distortion as well, I can go here to my distortion, which is quick control eight. And I can start controlling all those useful parameters. They're right there at my fingertips. Now, the great thing is every time I load Retrolog from now on, I will have this pre-mapped. So I don't have to do this every single time. And this is the beauty of the quick controls in Cubase 12 in conjunction with the MIDI remote. You set them up once, and you're good to go. So for example, right here I have Patch Shop and Patch Shop has very different controls because it's a different synth, it's a granular synthesizer. So now if I start playing, So in this case, I'm going to open Quick Controls and you can see that they're already pre-assigned, but we have two layers for patch up. So you might want to change some assignments. Maybe you want to go here and instead of having the attack for the amplitude envelope, I can have the format. 
for example. And for this one, same thing, maybe we can change the spreads for the spectral oscillator. So you can really shape the controls for each synth that you're using. And this also works with third-party plugins as well. For example, in this case, I have Model 84 by Softube and I've pre-mapped this and I'm trying to be consistent with the controls I'm assigning for my sims. So again, I have the same exact structure. My filter, resonance, envelope, attack, decay, sustain, release. And for this one, I have the chorus mode for Quick Control 8. So as you can see, MIDI control in Cubase makes controlling your synths a breeze. It's so easy. Everything is laid down for you. So you can immediately load a synth, start controlling and have fun. You can really enjoy producing rather than figuring out where every control is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.